I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. I'm away from home, but I've rounded up friends, Pam McRae, Chris Bryan, and Mama, who happens to be Chris's mom. That's right. Now, Miss Edna, yes. you are absolutely gorgeous, and when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Chris, this is a venture, Blackberry Ridge Eatery. Did you dream about this for a long time? My whole life. Your whole life? It's my life. It's my Pam, dream. how'd you get involved in this? Met up with Chris, something I always wanted to do, but wasn't strong enough to do it by myself. And together we make the perfect partnership. The perfect partnership starts with blackberries, doesn't it? It started with a belief that God can help you through everything. And he will. And he he will. He absolutely will. You have a remarkable business that starts when you enter the property. The first thing you see is the Ten Commandments. Right? They were a gift to us from another local group that does a mission through that project. Mm -hmm. And so far, a very successful restaurant. You're new, seven months, is that about right? Mm, four. Four months. Four months? Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> now, we're going to show the view from your window, the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, right? Right. A flag, the American flag flying, and we can tell folks to get here, you leave Atlanta as fast as you can, but when you get up on 575, slow down and take time to enjoy the beauty. Absolutely. Right. Because this is such a beautiful area. Now, one of the things that's beautiful about it, you can still buy homegrown blackberries for $6 a quart because ladies here pick them and mm -hmm. sell them, and I buy them all the time. And one of the recipes I'm going to do is blackberries. I'm going to do blackberry wings, and we're going to start with, what is my saying? Life is short. short eat eat dessert, dessert first. first. <laughs> eat dessert first. We're going to start with your blackberry pie with Mayfield vanilla ice cream. Have you had that before? Oh, yes, every time. <clears throat> it is so good. But I have to tell you, I'm the blackberry girl, but I love your pecan pie. Love your pecan pie. Now, tell me about your baker. We have our general manager here, her name is Shauna Jones. She's a young 22 years old, but has years of experience. Mm -hmm. She does most of our bacon, and she has brought on to our team recently another baker that she trained a few years ago, Jessica Clore. Mm -hmm. And the two of them together make a great team providing us with our baked goods, and we're really proud of the job they do. Well, I, every time I bring somebody, yeah, they say, I'm so full, I can't possibly yeah. eat another bite. And I say, you've got to try these pies. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. Now, did you teach Chris some of what he knows, maybe? Well, yes, he started cook, wanting, wanting to cook when he was three years old. I'd put him up on the counter, Mama, I want to have. Mm -hmm. And he'd stir and he'd get it on the ceiling and everywhere. So <laughs> and I, I still do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I, 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 I still get it on the ceiling. <laughs> so I did teach him a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, today we're going to share a little bit of the Blackberry Ridge Eatery, and we're going to share a little bit of Blue Ridge, Georgia, because it's a wonderful place to come and spend the weekend. And I tell people... It's a wonderful place to live. Jerry. It's a great place <laughs> to live, and we're going to talk about real estate because the real estate market here is absolutely phenomenal. There are cabins, there are second homes. You could leave Atlanta and live here. What a concept. Live here and drive into that crazy city. Now, does that sound like a good idea? I know people I think it does. Like it. I think it sounds like a great idea. And it's one of those things, um, once you come, you can't describe the feeling. It's kind of, I call it chilling time. You come here and you just chill. You know, you just chill, you meet wonderful people. Oh my goodness, look what we have here. Now, let's describe this. You start with frozen blackberries? We do use a frozen blackberry. It's a dual brand. Mm-hmm. I start with the home canned ones. And, and on a show a couple of weeks ago, I made a blackberry cobbler. And I have never made blackberry pie, but I can guarantee you I've eaten this one. And it is some good stuff. Now, we're going to share this recipe. Are we going to put it on our website? Oh, no, they've got no, to come see me. They have, have to come and see you. you. I agree they with that theory. That they've got to come see me to have that Now, pie. I have to say, blackberry pie, ice cream, and a little bit of sweet tea, does that sound like a meal to y'all? It's pretty much a southern meal. In Blue Ridge, Georgia? It's, it, it's the way to go. I know. Oh, my goodness. Now, we're going to share this. We have an audience today, and we're going to share this, and we're going to share your success story, because you do have success stories. Both of you do. Chris is battling and beating cancer. We're on our road, hopefully. Hopefully to recovery. 12 months in, re in remission right now. That's right, that's right. And we're just headed for another 12 months of success. We that's what we, it's all we about. Hope, we hope and pray. We hope to write your recipe for success. Now we're gonna take a break and when we come back, 
we're going to share this pie and then I'm going to make you something. It's wings with a blackberry barbecue sauce. What do you think of that? Sounds great. I think it's going to be so, great. I think it's going to be great. Are you going to let them uh, blue blackberry ridge have it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm giving them the recipe, and if they want to serve it as one of their appetizers, it would be wonderful. It would be wonderful, and it's quick and simple, and that's what I'm all about. Now, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to share more of the Blackberry Ridge Eatery, and we will give you some recipes, and as always, give you some simple tips. So hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Heart of the Home. Now we are in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and I am joined by my my host. You know, I'm always the hostess. I love this. This is so cool. I get to teach you something, then y'all are gonna do the work. We're gonna make a hot wings recipe, and when we talked about doing it at the Blackberry Ridge Eatery, what recipe would we do? Something with blackberries, for something sure. Something with blackberries and hot wings. Everybody knows I cook based on what's on sale, you know. If whatever's on sale that week, wings happen to be on sale this week at the grocery store. So I bought wings and I doctored it. Have you ever seen this, the Chef and the Fat Man Love Rub? No, I think I've well, heard about it. Okay, we these guys come to visit quite often and they make this rub that you use on barbecue meats. And I put it on the wings last night and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Then I baked them an hour and 10 minutes at 350 degrees, covered. Now, your job is I have taken whatever barbecue sauce you want. I don't care if it's dirt cheap, I don't care if you buy the good brand, doesn't matter. Just get you some barbecue sauce and mix it with blackberry jam and real blackberries, drain the liquid off of them. Okay. And you will see that the consistency and a little bit of teriyaki or soy sauce, whatever one you want to choose. I only put about a maybe an eighth of a, of a cup of the soy sauce, but see the consistency, the jelly, and the barbecue, and it has some pieces of blackberry in it. Yeah. So I want y'all to baste, baste the wings, and then we're going to bake them for about 30 more minutes and really do it thick because we want the taste of blackberry. Let's set it over there. And the idea is it's a little bit tangy, it's a little bit sweet, a little tiny bit, not not even hot, but a little spicy, a little bit spicy. Is it that wimpy flavor? Yeah, uh, no, it's, I think it's actually their, it's their hot rub, but it's not. How come when we were uh, painting the building you didn't tell me you could use a paintbrush <laughs> that well? <laughs> That's a good plan. Now y'all did take a rundown dilapidated building and turned it into a beautiful restaurant, didn't you? It was some kind of ugly in it. It was, I heard. When I tell people how to get there, they say that ugly old building, and I say, no, 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 you haven't been there recently. It is beautiful now. Now, doesn't that smell good? Oh, it mm -hmm. smells wonderful. Yeah, and and I wonderful. am a blackberry, I love it, love it, love it. So, now, what do you think of that? I think and, I'm hungry. <laughs> now, can we get a shot of that? You see what it should look like? And these, I think this cost me about $5. Mm. That's a pretty cheap deal. Isn't that it? is a cheap deal. Cheap deal. Now for we're going to stick that back in the oven for 30 minutes. And when it comes out, we're going to serve our guest. Now, Chris, when you, when you did this, did you have your menu in mind? Did you know what you were going to do? We had a, a concept of what we wanted to do. Why we wanted blackberry? Can I tell? Yes. Mm -hmm. let, mm -hmm. let Pam, you're welcome to tell. When we first were discussing trying to find a name for our restaurant, truthfully, we wanted to be in the front of the phone book. Uh-oh. Um, good theory. Good theory. So the A didn't work for anything. We tried some Appalachian. Nothing worked. Nah. Uh, so we moved on to B, and uh, I like to cook with blackberries. Me too. And uh, I ran that by Chris, and I said, what about Blackberry Ridge? Because we're up here on this ridge. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful scene. It is beautiful. And it just worked. I had worked in the past for a long time critiquing the blackberry pie recipe. Mm -hmm. So it just all fell into play. And as <coughs> we got into the business and people started coming up here that are natives for the air, to the area, they told us stories about coming here on the back of pickup trucks before this was developed and picking blackberries oh, by the gallon. Wow. So we got a little history and I think the Lord had his hand on working uh -huh. that out the way he did. Uh -huh. I, I feel confident in that. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Now we're going to serve some of these wings and we're going to see if folks like them. It's one of those things. Do you like wings? I love wings. See, some people don't. I was not a wing person because I didn't like the hot and spicy, but I love this. It's a little bit tart. It's a little bit sweet. 
and it's one of those things let's try a couple of them and see it's not it's not spicy like the kind my son eats those what do they call them uh, when they scorch when they scorch your like mouth atomic or yeah atomic. yeah nuclear yes nuclear insane That's, yes I've heard that. yes now nicholas does that and i don't like that but now i want y'all to taste these and tell me if you think this is a recipe that maybe your family would like and remember, you can get it all over you. You can get it on your mouth. You can get it on your... Don't get it on this wonderful new outfits. I love your new outfits. Thank you. We're I want one. Do you think it would make me look thin? I don't think so. <laughs> but I do love those. A little bit tangy? Mm-hmm. Fabulous. Not hot. Not spicy hot. Do we have to share? We do. We do. We're going to be sweet and we're going to share. But isn't that good? Mm. Just they a little bit of blackberry. It's got the blackberry flavor with a little bit of sweet. Yeah, yeah and if you don't, you it's know. It's sweet and savory working together. It you is. blend the flavors. It is. It is. And it's one of those things we hope that when we serve this, people will smile and literally, you know, use whatever sauce you want to. Do you make your own barbecue sauce here? Mm-hmm. Okay, so In you fact, can use. Shonda makes our barbecue sauce. Uh-huh. And she's real protective about her recipe. Uh-huh. I don't think I've seen it. Really? But anyway. She won't let me stay in the kitchen when is she's it, working Is it tangy? It. It's tangy, sweet, got a little, they've got a little hint of spice in the back of it. Uh-huh. And when we put it on our ribs, we do our ribs periodically, it kind of reduces down and sticks to that meat and makes a really good sauce. She does uh -huh. a really good job with it. Well, I started testing this about three days ago, and as people would call and they'd say, what is she doing today? My secretary would say, she's testing a blackberry barbecue recipe, and they would go, what? You know? So they would come by and sample, and then they would call the next day, is she still sampling that barbecue blackberry? I thought I'd sample it again for her. It was really good. So I said it had to have been a hit, and it was one of those things I usually make blackberry cobbler, but I knew because you're famous for your blackberry pie, we weren't going to intrude on that. So we did a blackberry barbecue sauce. And the ingredients are already on our website. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at our website? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we try to add those pretty often. Great. And um, tell me some of the things that you do. You have specials every day of the week. Tell mm -hmm. us about those. Uh, we appeal to uh, the working class people at lunchtime, something that they can come in and, and dine and get full service and people waiting on them, but at the same time get back to work, mm -hmm. you know, and not be in here a length of time. And on Mondays we do um, what we call a flat iron steak, um, seven or eight ounce steak when they get their choice of two sides and their dessert and drink all concluded for one price. And that's a really big hit, and I'll let you tell about Tuesday. On Tuesday we do pot roast. Tuesday is our pot roast day we do. And I have to say my secretary's favorite thing you do. Is the pot roast. What is Sherry Martin's favorite thing you do? Meatloaf. <laughs> what does Sherry Martin order every time she hits the door? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Turnip greens and, and cornbread, cornbread salad. salad. <laughs> I have to tell you, I mean, if your waitress has been here more than a week, they don't even need to ask me because mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to have. Exactly. I love your meatloaf. I love it. It kind of tastes like my mom's, but not quite. With Mother put everything but the kitchen sink in hers. Yours is simple, and I, I love it. Love it. And we're glad. And has a really good sauce on it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a secret. You it's have to come a here secret. To get it. That's right. You have to come here to get it. Sauce. That's right. That's right. But what do you call it? German meatloaf? Is that, that what it's tagged? German influence. And it's yeah. really good. Really, really good. Now, talking about real and good, we're going to serve these to our guests, and we're going to see if we have some smiles. You think we're going to make some smiles with these? I think so. People will smile. I think so. I think so. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about Blue Ridge, and we're going to give people ideas on what they can do when they come to visit after they eat at the Blackberry Ridge Eatery. What do you think about that? Sounds, Sounds like a great, great idea great to me. Plan. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back, y'all. Welcome back to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. I think I've decided this is the way to go. I don't have to cook this segment. I'm going to put my guys to work. Chris and Pam are going to make me. Now, what were we talking about? Your specials we got to Wednesday? We were talking about specials and got to Wednesday. And our Wednesday special is turkey and dressing. Uh -huh. And pretty much everybody can cook the turkey, but we're going to show you how, how we make our dressing. Pam's cutting up some stuff now. I'll show okay. you some ingredients. And we'll just whip up some dressing here. And I'm going to tell you, I am loving the view. And I'm loving having tea. I'm, I've got my got my iced tea. I've got my friends. I've got Georgia Prime Real Estate here visiting. Right. And we're going to talk about 
Blue Ridge, and it's such a wonderful area. It now, y'all have made a lot of friends here, haven't yes, you? Yes, we got great friends. And your about. recipes bring them back. So, mm -hmm. Chris, tell me the simple, simple recipe. Okay, the simple, simple recipe for the, we're going to start with the stuffing, and then we'll move into the gravy. But the, the, the stuffing is, is really simple. You can use your leftover cornbread, your leftover biscuits. If you've got leftover loaf bread, you can use that. I take it, I run it through the food processor, so I just have a nice, a nice crumb base. Pam Lime. is working on right now cutting up some onion and some celery. If you use the purple onion, it gives your stuffing a little bit of color. What I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to just saute celery and onion. And we're going to saute it all together here. And then when it's all sauteed together. Now, did you use an oil base for that? Just a little bit of olive oil in here okay. is fine. Um, if you don't have olive oil, a little bit of margarine, okay. a little bit of butter, whatever. Butter. Now, 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 remember whose kitchen you're normally in. Sherry Martin's kitchen never uses margarine. Butter. Always butter. Butter. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. And this is where you would add a little bit of salt and pepper to your okay. saute. And then we get that done. And while we've got it going, we get it good and sauteed. Then we're going to add that mixture uh -huh. to your breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and uh, it takes about uh, de depending on how many people you're serving you can look at the serving dish you want to fill fill it a little full with your breadcrumbs and then you know when you add your ingredients and your moisture to that it's going to do everything you need it to do and this would serve about what I would say 25 that'll serve about 25, mm -hmm. 25 can you tell people. I used to own a restaurant can you tell my that. numbers are pretty good and what I'm doing now is I'm uh, just uh, beating up four eggs to add to this. And what the eggs does is it just helps bind the dressing together a little bit mm -hmm. so you don't end up with a, uh, a cornbread soup. You end up with a dressing that will hold together. Um, let me grab my pan and pour my dressing into the dressing pan. Now, so simple, and ingredients that you already have at home. Cornbread, mm -hmm. you can, you know, take your leftover cornbread and freeze it. Could you do that? Oh, yeah. Could you freeze your biscuits Bit and have them in the freezer yeah, ready to do go? Do a few things till you add enough, till you get enough, till you can make a whole pan. Right. You know, you right. don't always have that enough left over. At one well, that's time. what I usually do. I usually put them in the freezer, and then when I'm ready to make dressing, there you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. And then now you've greased your pan. Then the only thing we, uh, yep, we, we grease our pan. The only other thing you're adding to this is chicken, chicken stock. Now, if you're cooking a pork loin and you've got pork stock, if you're cooking pot roast and you've got beef stock, you can add that to it and it gives your, your stuffing just a little bit of a, a different flavor. That's my gravy. There you go. And what I do... And what is the chef's best tool? His your hands. hands. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing but your hands. And you work this until you've got... Clean. I need a clean... Not a really burgundy one. a thick clump, but almost to where it's a liquid, yep. to where it's moist, but not runny, but not dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to explain how that. How would you describe that? <laughs> kind of like a woman that's not heavy, not old, and not married. <laughs> What do you think about that? Well, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't met that one yet. When I do, when I do, I'll settle down. Okay, okay. Then we're just going to put that uh, right into our pan. And this will feed about 25. This will feed about 25 on this recipe. Mm. That goes into the oven at 350 for about, about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Till, it, till everything's cooked and done and then you're ready to uh, Okay, and mix. you're going to make us a gravy to I'm go with that? I'm going to make you a gravy to go with that. I'm the cleaner. Can I know, I love that. Let me see that and I'm going to wipe my hands off. There you go. See, this is why my staff doesn't like me in the kitchen because <laughs> they're constantly cleaning up after me. And so they're like, you know, we like it better when Listen, you're Listen, every you're woman in America knows men come with cleanup kits. <laughs> Need a whisk and another okay. spatula. Okay, there Clean you gravy. go. You can start your gravy with any kind of meat stock that you've got. Chicken stock, pork stock, beef stock, um, any of that will work. A um, uh, little bit of shortening, about a, about a cup of shortening. Bring your shortening to a full, just completely melt it. And I'm used to cooking on gas. It's hot, but that's hot. It's, it's melting. Yeah, it'll melt. It's melting. And I tell you what, while I've got that melting, we'll get started on pork loin, so you sure. can show them what to do that. Sure. Guys, you when when my, my shortening loin? gets to the consistency that it needs to be, we'll go the next step with the... Uh, 
Now, pork loin is one of those things, I'm not going to admit this on national TV, but I've never cooked a pork loin. <gasps> Can't believe I said that. Oh, no. I've never cooked a pork loin. Well, we, we uh, What's wrong with me? We're going we're gonna to show you what to do Okay. Here. I'm excited because it's something I've never done. Um, when we were trying to find things for our menu, um, we wanted to do something with blackberry. If you've ever been to a really fancy um, restaurant, they serve lamb chops with blackberries. Mm -hmm. So here we are in Blue Ridge, making that where the common man can have it. So right. that's what we've done. Right, because the common people nice don't loin. all like lamb. Right, right. But you can take you a nice pork loin, and you can get them different sizes at your regular grocery store. And I always come down here and score it, like to my first knuckle. Uh -huh. And I come down here and I just cut this. And if you have a problem with cutting this, if you'll put it in the freezer for a little while, It'll firm up enough to where it will stay tight for you till you can get a good slice on uh -huh. this. Anyway, we slice them up like that. Get them pretty consistent so you, they'll cook up evenly. But we cook these on the fire grill. Okay. And the way we do them is, Chris, your hands are cleaner than mine if you'll salt and pepper those while I wash my hands. Here, I'll do it. My hands okay. are clean. We salt and pepper those, and then we get our grill really hot, our flame grill, and uh -huh. we put we put them down for three minutes. I said I wasn't going to work. I was going to make y'all work, and I swear I've given any work. And at three minutes, we... Uh, now, three we, minutes on each side? Yeah, we put that down, like three minutes down. We leave it there for that amount of time, and then we turn it at a 45-degree angle, okay? Just, We're going to get technical, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, just like you take that, and you, it's laying like that on the grill. You just want to do it like that. Okay. Okay, and when you do that, that gives you what? I don't know. Them pretty marts at Applebee oh, and all the big Oh, that's restaurants. right. Okay. So, that, so that's all that's about. Okay, Miss Fancy Stuff. But all it right. also, <laughs> also, while you're doing that, it marks the time frame for you to make it pretty, but to get it thoroughly cooked. Mm -hmm. And then you flip it over and you do the exact same thing on the other side. If you go any thinner with your loin, three minutes will overdo. Okay. You know, it's important to get pork cooked through and through, but you that's don't want to overdo. Uh, Half an inch? I always say Texas toast. Okay. When that's I'm about trying to right. tell my guys yeah. how to cut something, that's mm -hmm. a good cut on a mm -hmm. grill. That's a right. Texas toast fit. Now, Chris, can we do gravy now? We can. We've got our shortening heated. We're going to add about three quarters cup of flour to that. It'll start sizzling just a little bit. Thank you. Did you see the episode when I showed Scotty Mayfield how to make gravy? Did you have lumps in it? No, I did not, because I think every house in America should own one of these water. wire whisks. Oh, wire if you, oh man. You can't, you can't do it. You, you cannot, cannot mess up gravy. That, no, you can't, you can't mess, mess up it up. If you've got a good wire whisk. And what you do on this is you just bring it until that uh, flour and shortening mixture is, I'm going to give you a new term, frog eye. Uh-uh. <laughs> yes. That's my term. That is Pam's term. It's a term that she taught me when we were working in the oh kitchen God. together and what frog eyed is is I guess the best way to describe it is when you cook a pancake and the bubbles burst that's the opposite of frog eye mm -hmm. when your when your roux this in your gravy you pan gets to that point you're ready to go you add your stock whisk it a little bit more and your gravy's ready to serve Done deal. ready to pour right over your dressing and we'll have that to try here in just a couple of minutes now you didn't use kitchen bouquet or any other trick nope. no other tricks no other so, tricks well we have had a great day with this we're going to show the finished product in just a second so hang around guys we're going to take one more commercial break then we'll be back to say goodbye from blackberry ridge eatery hang around we'll be right back Wow. Oh, my goodness. The audience is dying to try this. Thank Good. you, thank you, thank you so much. This obviously is my plate. These are for our audience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you both. Thank you. Bye-bye. From North Georgia now, we are in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and we'll be back for another segment, so hang around, guys. Thanks for stopping by Heart of the Home. My name is Matt Diver with the Inspirations Quartet, also the pastor of Crossroads Baptist Church in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Now, if you will, just sit back and relax as we listen to some of my favorite music, Southern Gospel Music. All aboard! Oh, let's go to that land. Come on, let's go to that land. Where milk, Where milk and the honey flow. Well, come on. Come It's a better, it's a better land I know. Well, a bound, bounding hearts we 
we'll make a start. We're trusting. We're trusting in, in our God. God. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. All aboard. All aboard. Let's go. Well, to let's land. go to that land. Come on. Let's go to that land. Where the milk, where milk and honey flow. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. It's a better. It's a better land. land.